So we just changed the game with this one, introducing AG number two, the newest groundbreaking artificial intelligence software in the game. We got things like AI text generator, AI image generator, AI code generator, AI chat box, AI text to speech, and voiceover capabilities. Yes, it does coding. Yes, it does images. It literally does everything. Make sure you click the link at the top line of the description box. If you're a content creator, if you're an artist, if you're just a regular person, I want to take your life to the next. All right, my boy Chris Breezy is in the world of you know what now. He and his team are being accused of attacking concert girls over the weekend, and he was hit with a lawsuit. Now, right, Texas attorney Tony Bugsby went on Instagram and said this about the incident. He said, we filed suit last night alleging that on Saturday night in Fort Worth, entertainer Chris Brown, along with his entourage, attacked and brutally beat several men who had just attended his concert. Multiple police reports have been made, and at least one of the men that's beaten remains in the hospital. Right Now, Chris Brown reportedly has a long history of violence and has been arrested or accused of assault on at least 10 occasions. Enough. Now, the lawsuit... The Bugsby firm seeking damages on behalf of the four men brutalized and hoping that justice for the victim is obtained. And they're saying they want to put an end once and for all to this intolerable, thuggish behavior set forth in the lawsuit. And this was, I want to say this was written like a persuasive essay because he made sure to put in there that, look, he's been accused before. Like, in other words, he's guilty as hell because he definitely, you know, did this before. He has a history of it. And we need to stop this monster from brutalizing and beating people up whenever he feels like he doesn't get his way or something goes wrong. I want money. Now, he said that one man was hospitalized and they're filing suit. And I'm sure they're also going to be looking for criminal prosecution because you would think the first thing is like, yo, the police, if it's that bad, somebody put somebody in the hospital, charges is coming aggravated assault whatever they want to throw at him that could be coming i'm not taking that off the table but it's just like and another thing is we have to take this all this stuff with a grain of salt because we weren't there something could have happened maybe it's not as drastic as this person is saying maybe something maybe chris brown wasn't even involved in it maybe it wasn't even his crew it could have been a friend of a friend who knows but you know at surface level and a lot of these different places, they got, you know, cameras, cell phones. So if something did happen, it might pop up on camera, right? And if Chris Brown didn't have anything to do with it, or it was just his crew, I look at it like, shit, what if the dude deserved to get his ass whipped? What if he did something crazy? What if he pulled out a gun? What if he pulled out a knife? What if he hit him over the head with a bottle? What if he tried to attack him? What? You never know. There's so many variables that we just don't know. Right now, we got this angry, money-hungry lawyer that's looking to cash in for his clients they're going for 50 million dollars folks they want 50 million dollars so it's like what happened was you know the incident allegedly took place the greedy shark scavenger lawyer said all right look, let's sue this guy man this is gonna be a slam dunk even if we settle out of court we might get four or five so we'll see we'll see man i mean if you're chris brown i guess you kind of just at this point saying look this is coming with the territory but that the other thing, the other side of this, because I'm, you know, definitely going to be sympathetic to victims if there is a victim in this case. He could have did it. His team could have did it for whatever reason. Maybe they didn't like. I mean, whatever. I wasn't there. We all going to speculate until more information comes out. But nevertheless, I, I take it with a grain of salt until more relevant information does come out about this. But the trend is not good for Chris Brown. The trend of continuing to have these type of stories that come out. Essay. Beaten up. Do this. Do that. It gives people justification. It gives brands justification to say, okay, look, remember this? Remember that? That's why we don't do this. So Chris Brown definitely has some, you know, things to clean up. But hey, don't we all? It's your brother Ogaman Hip Hop News Uncensored. Hey, hit the thumbs up button right now, if you will, and make sure you visit our sponsors page. At the top line of the description box, we got something special for you. Click that link. I truly and surely appreciate y'all. One more thing. 
Leave a comment. How do y'all feel about it? Peace.